Hi guys, this is Crystal. This is a quick video letting you know about the different types of natural deodorants that I've used, what I like about them, what I don't like about them, and hopefully you can find something in this video that will help you on your journey to use natural aluminum-free deodorants. I started using natural aluminum-free deodorants full-time about a little over a year ago. And the first one I started out with was Smith's, the regular one. This is Smith's. This is the rose vanilla scent. But the first one I ever had was the lavender vanilla. And that smell, it smelled good, but it smelled kind of like, I know it sounds weird, but a combination between Thanksgiving turkey and lavender, which is, which is weird. You know, like the spicy smell that the Thanksgiving turkey has, it smelled between that and lavender. But this rose vanilla is really good. I love this smell. I love this scent. I forgot. <laughs> I messed up. I love this scent right here. The rose vanilla it smells better than the lavender to me. And I love the Smiths. It worked really, really well. Um, I used it from around September, October of last year, all the way up until about June. And I noticed that my underarms began darkening and became itchy. And I don't know why all of a sudden it started doing that because I felt that if you were going to have a reaction to it, it would have happened right when you started using it. So I don't know whether I became sensitive to the baking soda or what have you, but I had to stop using that because my underarms became itchy, they became darker, they became painful. And so I had to stop using the Smiths, even though that's my, the regular Smiths, even though that's my favorite natural deodorant. I love this. It has not, I didn't have any odor whatsoever. It worked just as well for me as regular antiperspirants even though it has no aluminum in it. So I absolutely love Smith's. It works really well. If your underarms are not that sensitive to baking soda, I would definitely recommend it. It goes on kind of kind of dry and chalky. So therefore, once you get it, you just have to hold it under your underarms for about like 20 seconds and then for the natural body heat and your skin to warm it up and then you smooth it on. So you just don't try to put it on, scrape it on right after you got the shower. No, just let it, Stay against your skin for like 20 seconds and let it warm up and then apply it so it'll go on smoother. So I just, I really love Smiths and I'm sad that I had to stop using the regular Smiths. So after that, I switch to this. This is the Dub 0% Aluminum Cucumber and Green Tea. I wanted to try a different odor, but they did not have that scent when I went to the store, so the only thing they had at the Rite Aid was this, this cucumber melon. And the smell is okay. It smells a little bit like the Nair version of cucumber vanilla, which is why I'm not the biggest fan of it. It smells a little bit like Nair, but of all the, all the natural deodorants, it goes on the smoothest and it has a lot of moisturizers in it. So hopefully that will help my underarms to heal and, you know, get past the darkening. So I do like this. It does not work as well as a regular antiperspirant for me. It doesn't work that well, really. Um, on a scale of one to 10 about how well it works to control odor, I would say maybe a six or a seven. The Smiths was, the original Smiths was a 10 out of 10, but this is maybe a six or a seven out of 10. It is not bad. I mean, it's, it goes on smooth. It's like a clear gel, like consistency. Let me show it to you. Like a clear consistency. It looks kind of like a chapstick almost. The way it goes on really smooth. And then I, I'm not a big fan of the odor. Maybe some of the other fragrances would be better. I have cucumber and green tea, as I said earlier. So, yeah. The good thing about it is like all Dove products, it, it has one-fourth moisturizer. So, maybe that will help improve the skin under my underarms and help it kind of heal some from what happened with the Smiths. Another deodorant that I had used before I even started with the Smiths is this the arm and hammer essentials i think it comes in a fragrance free as well but i've never used the fragrance free i've just pretty much used this and it's free of aluminum parabens and all sorts of nasties so this is good stuff for me on a scale of one to ten it works better than the dove i would say it works about an eight or nine out of a ten so this is very, very good stuff. And of all the natural deodorants out there, it's probably the most accessible. It's, it's cheap. You can even get it from Dollar General. Um, Dollar General, 
Walmart, anywhere like that. It's the cheapest of the store of the kinds of natural deodorants you can get in the store. It's the cheapest of that. And it works very, very well. It goes on smooth. You see, it's kind of like a, it looks kind of like chapstick. It's a real smooth consistency. And it, does not, it doesn't tug on your arms like the Smiths will sometimes do. So this is good stuff. My only complaint about this is it smells a little masculine. But if you're a guy, you might not care about that. So, yeah. But it smells a little bit masculine in my opinion. But it's not bad. Next, I'll try the fragrance-free version of this one. But this is this is very good stuff. I was using this before I was using the Smiths. And I tried the Smiths on a whim and I was really happy. But, yeah. This works very well and it's very accessible. If you're somewhere and you run out of deodorant, you can just easily pop in any store and get this. So definitely recommend this. Okay, after my little fiasco with the Smiths, I contacted the company and I was sent the Smiths Sensitive Skin. So instead of baking soda, which causes sometimes a uh, allergic reaction in some people, it uses, I think, it's, I think it uses arrowroot powder. So here it is, this is the Smiths Sensitive Skin Coconut Pineapple Scent. Smells really good. And it has a bit of a drier consistency like the original Smiths, but is not quite as harsh on the underarms. It doesn't go on as, doesn't tug when you put it on the underarms. It's not as rough going on. So I do like it better. It does it does go on smooth and it does irritate my underarms less. However, it still irritates my underarms a little bit. And that's probably because it hadn't entire my underarms had not entirely healed from the original Smith's fiasco. So I'm going to try this again after my underarms completely heal up. I'm going to try this again and come back with a final verdict for this Smith's coconut pineapple sensitive skin. Um, on a scale of one to 10, I would give this about a seven. It doesn't work as well as the original Smiths for me, and it doesn't really work as well as the Arm & Hammer Essentials for me. Everybody is different, but that is my verdict on this so far. So what I'm using right now is this Dove. The Dove 0% Aluminum Cucumber and Green Tea Scent. I'm using it because it has the moisturizers in it, and hopefully it will help it will put, be less stress on my underarms and it will help me to heal up from some of the darkening and the discomfort that I've been experiencing. After I healed up completely from that, I'm going to give the Smith Sensitive Skin another go. So we will see. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me um, in the comment box below. So have a great day. Bye.